welcome to today's clean with me video where you're going to see a ton of decluttering organizing and cleaning in this video starting off with my kitchen area i'm going to go through and declutter my kitchen cabinets now you can see my cabinets are glass so they really have to be organized in order for them to be presentable and let me tell you they have been the complete opposite of organized they have definitely turned into a catch-all i've got so many random miscellaneous things up in these cabinets so i'm gonna go ahead clear off clean up the main part of the kitchen grab a basket and throw everything in the basket to be organized downstairs and have these cabinets decluttered for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it cause i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Now, in these cabinets, there's different types of medication. There's different types of paperwork that needs to go downstairs into my office and needs to basically get filed. I am notorious sometimes for putting things aside and waiting to get to them, which causes this issue. I have been doing a ton of decluttering around the house. You're going to see a bunch of baskets and a bunch of bags randomly in this video because I have been going through and just decluttering room by room and trying to get the If you've seen some of my other videos, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome. I'm Helena, I'm a mom of two. I do cleaning, organizing, decluttering, clean with me videos for cleaning motivation, as well as some DIY and design. And if this is the type of content that you enjoy, I would be so grateful if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and checked out some of my other videos. Watch me break I definitely want to go through and decorate these cabinets differently basically place a lot of the glassware and things that we have in here a little bit differently but i won't be doing that today i do have a ton of really nice stuff sitting in storage from our last house but i don't want to bring that into this house like i said in some earlier videos we definitely want to move we have been searching for a house for what i think is forever and i don't want to clutter up the space again with different things um, i definitely don't want to buy things with the price of how expensive things are right now 
I don't want to be spending money frivolously. So I have actually been avoiding shopping, the stores, buying decorations, even like Easter decorations or Valentine's Day decorations, even Christmas decorations for months. Um, I have been trying to do like a minimalist style and I just don't think I need a ton of things. I prefer an emptier space versus a cluttered, overwhelming space filled with a lot of decor. Just watch me break. Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it I'm keeping this coffee bar area very simple. Just keep my espresso caps. I don't even have sugar here anymore because I don't really use it. And my cabinets look so much better. They are clear of the clutter, clear of the random, just miscellaneous things that really didn't belong. But I do still have organizing to get to and redecorating all of those cabinets in a different day. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of Some of our furniture is so, I guess, broken down. Um, this TV stand that we have right there um, that you saw a little bit earlier isn't really even a TV stand. It was for the office uh, table that we have and for the desk. And I just repurposed it up here. I'd love to eventually get a better entertainment center um, for TV, but I don't want to spend money and I don't want to buy anything until we're settled in a new house because I feel like if I buy something for this space, it may not work for the next space. So I am. Pop 
think my daughter's room needs a little more organization. I did declutter her space, I think a few weeks ago, some of her toys. And right now I'm going to try and declutter some of her clothes. I'm going to go ahead and deep clean under the bed a little bit and just try and see what we can kind of get rid of out of this space that's no longer needed. The good thing about it warming up right now is I can pretty much start getting rid of all of her boots that I don't think she'll wear anymore. I don't think it's going to snow, uh, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of her snow things and put it into a pile. Right now I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready to put into storage. If I don't think we're going to need it anymore, I can get rid of it. I also am saving some of the stuff for the next baby and I'm starting to show more definitely um in some of my videos now so you can see i'm almost 20 weeks and my stomach is growing and i'm just chugging along Under her bed was a total disaster. There's a bunch of miscellaneous socks, but there was so much dust. And let me tell you where all of this dust comes from. Now I'm a stickler and I really, really love down comforters and down pillows. But if you have down comforters and down pillows, then you know that they shed incredibly. So a lot of the little feathers tend to get everywhere and I'm constantly vacuuming. Now I haven't vacuumed under the bed since, I don't know, maybe before winter. There is so much of the little fine down particles underneath the bed. I'm gonna vacuum that all up, uh, vacuum the baseboards. Now it is the downside of having down pillows and down comforters. However, it is something that I will deal with because I feel like down comforters and down pillows are so great to sleep on. They are personally my favorite and I will not trade them in for the world.
you can see how much I just vacuumed. That is all literally down feathers with, I mean, a few little garbage pieces that were in there. But the space is finally clean now and I don't have to worry about any of the dust from underneath the bed anymore. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you gave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and checked out some of my other videos. I think you would enjoy a lot of the cleaning motivation.